In the New Testament, the second coming of Christ is a pressure point. That is, is the future of Christ's coming is always putting pressure on the current moment. It was a kind of crisis in the early church where the church began to realize that Christ isn't coming right back. That this is going to be a longer sprint, longer than a sprint. It's going to be a marathon and we have to adjust on how we do things. How do we make sure that we pass on the core of the faith from one generation to the next? How do we make sure that those who were not eyewitnesses of the resurrection of Jesus still have the confidence of his resurrection? How can we be sure of that? And so we have the struggle of the early church going from first generation to second generation on to third generation. But the second coming isn't the only way that Jesus comes. Jesus comes to his people all the time. Jesus comes to you all the time, many times during the day, uh, many times during your prayer life, he comes to you. Sometimes we're so thick in, in our spiritual life, so thick in our souls that we don't recognize him. Sometimes we're so blind uh, that we don't see him there, but he comes all the time. Amen. And just because it's not the great second coming doesn't mean it's not significant for you. For every time he comes, he calls you. He forces a decision. Remember in the story of the Exodus, Moses stands in front of Pharaoh and says, God says, let my people go. And Pharaoh hardens his heart. Pharaoh says, no, I'm not going to do it. Moses goes back. God says, let my people go. Pharaoh hardens his heart. Again and again, this happens and Pharaoh hardens his heart. The last time Moses goes back, God hardens Pharaoh's heart. God had come to Pharaoh, Pharaoh had failed to recognize it, and his time of decision was over. Love each other, pray for each other, take care of each other. Why? Because Jesus is always coming. The end is near. The end is near because evil will collapse under its own weight. So be ready when it does. You have this pressure of knowing that we're always in transition. Not only are you to not give up, but you are to thrive. You are to increase as the body. You are to reach other people with the good news of Jesus Christ. You are to make more disciples. You are to win more people to, to the, the, the following of Christ. You are to make more Christians.